the live twitch hey hello guys it is 7 40 we're doing a little week in my life if this ever makes it to the internet so i talked about yesterday how i am currently in a book slump so right now i'm making like a video of like vlogging my book slump i posted about it on my instagram story and a lot of you guys were like no like you can do more vlogs like we love to see your life like i love 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 the book videos but i also love to see your life surprising to me because it's a pain to edit because i hate to see my life but anyway it is 7 40 i think i already said that and i am about to go to the gym today is quads quad day so yeah i'm about to go to the gym fill up my water bottle grab my gym bag and go you call me up again just to make me like a promise. My windows are down, so we're gonna have to deal with that for a sec. I have been home from the gym and I came home, I mowed the grass, I was sitting outside for a little bit, and my current read that I'm trying to get through is fourth wing, as is everybody's. But the thing is, is that I looked it up on Amazon and it was like, oh yeah, ships in one to two months, and I was like, what i've been reading on my kindle and then i looked it up and because sarah was like oh i found mine at target i looked mine up not at target and then yesterday i was looking at barns like my barns near me and none of them said it but then i was looking again today because i love reading on my kindle but there's also just like i like reading a physical book i feel like i read books faster physically than i do on my kindle i don't know it's just a little weird um, but it said that this Barnes & Noble had it. So we're going to see because do you know how many times the Barnes & Noble has done this to me? And I walk into the Barnes and then they're like, oh, we just gave the last copy to somebody. And I'm like, and my anxiety is, like the way that my anxiety works is that I will hyper fix it on something until it's done. So I literally can't even like sit and chill until I come to this Barnes and see if it's really here. And if it's not, I'm going to be severely disappointed and reward myself with a Starbucks because I haven't had one. I didn't have one last week. That sounds so pathetic, doesn't it? I didn't have a Starbucks last week. And I'm also looking for my Alani's and the Targets out here, but I genuinely don't know if I have the mental capability to handle this book not being here. Like, I don't even know if I'm gonna like it because honestly right now I'm very indifferent to it. I'm only like 15% through the book right now though, so like, no judgment. I'm not saying anything about the book, but everyone loves it. <sighs> Why am I nervous? If they don't have it, it's not okay. I'm just gonna say it. Well, <sighs> but they didn't have it. <laughs> just as I suspected, honestly, I like full on thought that they didn't have it. I hate when the Barnes and Noble app does this and that's when like they say that they have it and you go all the way to the store. And I've literally even had times where like the employee has been like, no like we didn't even get that in like i don't know why the app is saying that it is so frustrating so incredibly frustrating because you kind of like get your hopes up but right now i'm actually about to go across the street to target because one sarah said that she found hers there and so i'm like even though on target it says that it's not there so i'm like fully expecting it to not be there but really i'm going there for my alani's but i'm just gonna like check the book section whilst i am there also sweating buckets right now it's literally like 80 something degrees outside and it is so hot i also just for some reason did not get a starbucks in there but there's literally a starbucks right by the target so i'll probably get one after i go to target and maybe even bring Isaac buy one because his warehouse isn't far from here. We are front rows today, guys. Let me back up because I am parked quite terribly. And this is the same Target that actually didn't have my Alani Cherry slushes the other day, so I can't strike out everywhere. I can't do it. Okay, so I guess today is just the day of like saying that you have stuff online and then not having it in store. I, like I said, I came here for my Alani's <laughs> and they just like didn't have them. It's not that big of a deal. I'm just like very annoyed today, but I'm really gonna run to the Starbucks and pick up. I got always like a coffee and a little cheese Danish. Hi, I did 
just had a mobile order for Destiny. Thank you. Uh, yes, just one. When I have my windows down, like, everyone can hear me talking. Like, I forgot that was a thing. But I just get a grande iced white mocha. I get vanilla cold foam for some unbeknownst reason. But see if it's good today. Because usually, lately, only they've been hitting solely only if I go to Barnes Noble get one. I don't think I can. I don't think I can mentally stand the coffee not being. Okay, I just turned in front of me. That's honestly so. It's quite simply, but not my day. Do you guys ever drive through green lights and you're like, was that actually green? I do that all the time. For a second, I thought I was going to have to report back that after going to the fourth store today that I took another L because this is yet another store that said online that they had it. And I'm at Meyer, by the way. You guys didn't see it in the video clips. Um, I rarely I rarely ever visit Meyer. If I don't know if Meyers are everywhere. Are Meyers everywhere or are they just kind of like a Midwest thing? Yeah, so they're actually just a mid-eastern thing. A lot, like majority of them are in Michigan. I found it at my Meyer, and Meyers just remind me of the 4th of July for some reason. Don't ask why, maybe it's because the colors of their store is red, white, and blue. But like every single time that I go in there, I just think of the 4th of July. Like there's absolutely no reason for that. Actually, I think there is, is because whenever we go over to Mallory's house, we like, I remember doing a lot of like, going to a lot of Myers trips for like prep for 4th of July for years. So I think that's why it really runs in 4th of July. Cause I really, oh, anyway, I went online and I just looked up like on Google, uh, fourth wing because I was like let me see like what stores they're even I keep on looking back that rug and thinking that there's somebody just chilling in my backseat just waiting for me to politely waiting for me to finish the, you know yeah they're locked okay um, I looked up and Meyer popped up and I was like what the heck and there's a Meyer right by my house so I was like okay slay um it this is not the Meyer right by my house this is the Meyer like 30 minutes away from my house so there's that so I looked it up because I went and stopped off at the warehouse to like give Isaac his coffee and stuff and at the warehouse I was like okay it says they have one at this Meyer, but then I was going to do what I didn't do at Barnes and I was just gonna like check out and um, like pick it up but all of a sudden like the the website started like malfunctioning so then I was like okay if I drive all the way here and they don't have it I'm actually gonna have like a mental breakdown I was in the store and I go to the book section and I had a good feeling I had a good feeling as I was driving here I was like I feel like this is like going to be it but oh my gosh someone's coming up to me and I mean maybe they'll just think I'm on the phone you know like maybe they'll just uh but what if they can see my camera anyway but the thing is is that girlies are sleeping on Meyer because they literally had it and here's the thing Meyer prices are so good because I think this book was 30 bucks and I got it for $22. I'll give you guys a little haul of everything I got when I get home because I really want to go home now. Like if you guys ever run errands and you're like, uh, I want to go home. But like for me, it was like, I'm not going home until I find this book because I know it's somewhere. Like I know it's so, I just can't believe if you're like a Midwest, Miss Mid East girly, like you, and you know about Meyer, like I cannot believe I found it at Meyer. Cause Meyer is kind of like a Walmart, just like a step. I don't know. Meyer is kind of like Walmart. Um, I just never go to Meyer. I also just realized that this guy has been watching me talk to this camera. 
so i'll see you guys at home okay guys so i'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a haul so well when i went to target i just got like these like kind bars i just realized i did not look for my alani's at meyer but i did get i do drink the ghost energy drinks um these are good for like actually like when i'm working out which i drink my lines when i'm working out but i also drink them throughout the day because they don't make me super jittery and nauseous because a lot of energy drinks make me nauseous but these don't either the ghost brand i got the sour green apple blue raspberry red berry and the orange cream one um i like to drink these like while i'm working out and like as little pre-workouts because i can't drink pre-workout because it genuinely makes me so nauseous so i can't drink it but as we all know <laughs> my journey for fourth wing oh, i'm so excited to continue reading this i just could not help myself and i was just looking at all the other books so i got one for my enemy tell me that this cover is not absolutely adorable and it has little postcards but it's called postcards from summer and then i have been eyeing american mermaid literally every single time that i've seen it i've been eyeing it i eyed it when i went to new york at the strand i eyed it every single time i go into barnes and noble and of course it was like seven bucks off so i got it because this story this is like a literary fiction and it's like an english teacher writes this book about like a mermaid i think and then it's like getting adapted into like a movie but she doesn't like the way the movie's going or something along those lines but that's everything that I got. I am about to take a shower and then continue reading Fourth Wing. I can't believe that I found it. But in all honesty, I'm going to make a few TikToks before I shower. But, you know, you don't need to see the behind the scenes of that. Hey, you guys. Okay, it's hours later. It's going to be 8 o'clock, but it looks like 5 in the afternoon. But the sun is kind of sorry i had to take a drink sun is kind of starting to go down but anyway i just filmed a video that i'm going to edit tomorrow because i am not good at like filming a video and then ed directly editing it i just am not one of those type of people i'm going to edit that tomorrow but i did get ready so i kind of want to take a pic for instagram maybe maybe not but i do feel a little disoriented right now like i ate dinner and i feel so like off like just off i don't know i took a shower i didn't today wasn't a hair wash day i just threw in some dry shampoo but i did my makeup I put on this outfit i got this tank top from target like this is legally blonde hello who knows where the world will take us today i don't know never know never know oh my god i feel like crap i feel like crap nine o'clock it's nine it's literally nine the dot and it's still light outside i still very much feel like crap um, I just feel like, ugh. like if I had to describe it, it would be, ugh. Ugh. so I didn't feel good and I didn't want to go anywhere, but I took pictures on my little Canon, what is this, power shot. Um, I'm going to take the SD card out and I'm going to put them on my phone and see if I got any that I think are cute that I can post on Instagram. I also got another Amazon package, so I think these are the books that I ordered. Oh, it is, but it's just one. Is this the next? There's no way. There's no way. <sighs> Thick this book is. How many pages is this? Oh my gosh, it's like 700 pages. I just spoiled something for myself. Genuinely, guys, I, I don't know. I don't. We're gonna get a little sappy, a little sentimental, because I literally like post on Instagram, and then somebody commented. They were like, "Oh, congratulations! Like your podcast made it in the top. You're like on the top 20 of Spotify, Spotify's, of Spotify's podcast chart." And I was like, "What?" And so then I Google. I go, "Spotify top 20 podcast chart, bookmarked with Serendus." Genuinely, I am still flabbergasted. I was just sitting there, and I sent it to Sarah, and I was like, "Sarah." that I just feel, I feel a very great deal of extreme gratitude because I, something like that feels surreal. Like I know it may not feel like a big deal to people, but like it's a very big deal to me because when things like this happen, it's just like, I freak out for me of right now. I freak out for little me that like stuff like this was like her dream to do. And I'm doing it because of you guys and you guys are getting me and Sarah to literally 20 
top 20 up there with literally Brittany Broski, Emma Chamberlain, Joe Rogan, like all of the big podcasts. And we are up there next to them, even if it was just for this. Like that is absolutely insane. And honestly, like something that I never like even like foresee like when that became a thing like I never saw that happening and that's insane and crazy and I just wanted to take a moment and say thank you guys so much for that because I'm genuinely in shock I don't really let myself feel things I this is like one of my toxic traits is like I don't really let myself like feel a lot and I am very 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 grateful and thankful for all of you guys because that is freaking crazy it's insane like I genuinely i genuinely want to get emotional but i'm not going to and i vlog like i'm on facetime so i don't want to cry in front of you guys because i that feels vulnerable thank you guys so much for getting not only me but sarah and supporting me and supporting this endeavor that i'm going towards and genuinely know that you guys are so freaking amazing and so important and none of this would happen without you guys take a little break in today's vlog to be a little sentimental because that is so insane it's like so so crazy i went downstairs and got my little pre-workout snack which is a kind bar it's the like dark chocolate cherry one or something anyway i am about to go to the gym it's tuesday tuesday let's pick a pre-workout drink No. I really want to try the orange cream because I've tried all the other ones. I want to try this one. Mmm, smells good. Mmm, I don't know if I'm going to like this though. Yeah, I don't know if I love that. Let's get my outfit. Okay, guys, we are in my gym outfit, OOTD. I completely changed it since the last time I spoke to you, but still don't know how I go about this. I don't know, I'm just not a huge fan of orange, like, flavored thing. No, you are not taking that because you're mad. Literally, every single day that I leave, she tries to take something from my room and drag it downstairs because she's mad that I'm leaving. <laughs> Guilty as charged. I'll see you when I get home. Okay. <sighs> oh my god, the way that this just scared the living crap out of me because I just came downstairs and that was there. Let me turn off Bluey. Okay, sorry, I had to turn off Bluey. Okay, so it is like one o'clock now. I forget what time did I eat lunch. I don't know, but I, I rarely ever like eat lunch. I usually just kind of like get little snacks, whether that's like some fruit or like a like kind bar or something. But I kind of want to do my smoothie that I have made a few times. It's a protein smoothie, and sometimes protein smoothies like kind of do something to my digestive system. I don't know why. Okay, so I don't have the yogurt for it. Well. Not making smoothie. Wait, I can help you over January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August. Okay. Off to a good start. Okay, well, I actually can't make it because I don't even have the frozen strawberries. The frozen strawberries, and they're not in here anymore. And I know I didn't use both of them, but that's awesome. I don't have any of my frozen strawberries. So, I can't make it. I'm so upset. I'm on my second Stanley Cup of water today. I was about to just like eat some of these chips that I have. So like if I want chips, I get these. Which are the Quest uh, Chili Lime Chips. But the thing is that I drink those with milk because I don't know if anyone else knows this. Or this is like a thing in my family, but I'm pretty sure everybody knows this actually. Because if you literally watch any episode of Hot Ones, they always have milk. But anyway, milk like helps ease like when you eat spicy things and those chips are like spicy they're basically kind of like eating a taki is like kind of what they're going for so if i want chips i try to eat those but like the other day i had milk and 
I don't ever just like drink a glass of milk. Like I don't ever just like just chill back and sit with a glass of milk. And the other day I had it and I literally Anyway, I really have to edit, like really, really have to like get the work done today. I also have to go run a few errands because tomorrow, which is Wednesday, is Bestie Lexi's birthday. She's turning 20. So I'm going to, I'm going to go get a cookie cake because we're going to dinner tomorrow for her birthday. So I'm getting her a cookie cake and then I'm going to go like run and get like a few other like little things for her birthday later. So I definitely have to get this video edited to be able to go do that. So uh, I kind of, uh, I'm just not vibing with this, but I feel like I have to keep sipping it. Most of my vlogs are literally just me like sitting here and talking like I don't do anything. How do you guys find me interesting? I don't I don't know. It's update time. It is 8 p.m. And I have not even finished editing my video <sighs> I have edited my video though. I haven't finished it, but I have been editing it So I do get points for that. Also, this is my third Stanley of the day I know people don't like Stanley cups anymore and everyone makes fun of girls for having Stanley cups even though literally I'm just trying to be happy. Like yeah, cups make me happy. I'm sorry that this 40 ounce water cup makes me happy but, but I swear ever since I've had my Stanley I have just seen such a like intake in water and such an increase in my water intake because this I literally take this everywhere with me. I literally take it every, every time I get in the car, have my Stanley. So make fun of me all you want but I'm hydrated. You know the drill. really been in my country music era anyway i literally took one clip before the gym and then went to the gym and then didn't even say anything but hello i'm back from the gym today was leg day today i actually hit my pr for rdl it was just one but i had my pr which was 135 because like the bar is 45 and i had 45 on each side i'm about to make breakfast and take a shower because i am so so sweaty so i'm going to take a shower and then i'm going to get ready because tonight i have lexi's birthday dinner and then i have a few errands to run today what i'm going to do is make breakfast take a shower finish editing the podcast and then probably get ready to go run errands i usually make my little like thin bagel with egg and then like turkey bacon on it but i just don't want to make that today but i really don't have any other rotations for my breakfast turn all lights white how hard is that to understand? Is it just me or does anyone else have the irrational fear that like with your like, or like Google Homes that they are gonna like take over? It is literally 10 o'clock at night. 10 o'clock at night and I just got back from Lexi's birthday dinner. I literally was a terrible vlogger today because I wasn't gonna vlog Lexi's birthday dinner anyway because that's like a private endeavor. I literally ran errands all day today. Like honestly, I was very much on the go, 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 go today. So I literally just got home. Like I went to the gym and I had edited and then I left to run errands and then I literally went straight to Lexi's birthday dinner and now I'm home. Sore, that is that. I I'm about to take off my makeup um, before I lay down in my bed to read Fourth Wing because I just saw some fan art and that really motivated me to want to continue reading the book. Um, not that I didn't want to, but just like it really made me want to read before bed. I would like to get pretty much a lot through that and then finish it tomorrow because tomorrow is a rest day from the gym so I can just like get up and read that book. So anyway, but I do have some packages <laughs> oh i was able to be like the thing is is i was not like i buy all of these that almost makes it worse i think these are just more stickers oh my god i'm so excited for this one i literally oh that's so awesome wait i like love this little print thing so i literally ordered this spider-man water bottle for me in dakota i didn't tell him that i ordered it but he doesn't watch my videos anyway but people i kept on getting so many tags on tiktok so if you tagged me in the i think it was like aura something bar bottle i literally bought it um but anyway this is like this cute little thank you card that is so cute but this is the sticker that i'm so excited for it's the little thing from the comic that says that painting looks the way that i feel and i love that pretty sure it's another sticker that i ordered they just look like little letters in the mail i've been getting so many of these my dad literally is like what is happening? Like, these aren't, like, packages. Like, he knows when I get a package, it's a package. 
Oh, that is so cute. Oh, that is so cute. This is the Etsy shop Wish Upon Magic that I got this from. And I got the little three, little like, hello, my name is Peter Parker from Spider-Man No Way Home. You know, an ode to the three of them. And they literally, that is so freaking cute. They wrote on my thing, thank you 3000 Destiny. Why am I keeping this? That is so cute though. I am literally in love with that. What else do we have? I literally, so me and my mom are going to be going on a vacation, but Kulani Hini's just did their little collab with Lexi Hidalgo, and they were so cute that I literally got these expedited <laughs> shipped. That way they would 100% be here on time. The thing is, is that honestly, would they have probably been here on time? Yeah. Maybe, but I couldn't count on that, so I got expedited shipping. Literally, Kalani bikinis is my absolute favorite bikini. Oh, so first of all, we have this little print. This is this little print. It's like very neon pink with like florals on it. This one's just like a regular little tie bikini. You can wear it like this, or like I sometimes take it and like wear it a different way. When it rains, it pours. Ooh, I'm so excited for this one. Ooh, yeah, I'm really excited for this one because these bottoms, like I like when they do this little, like this. Oh, and I like this one too because it kind of matches because the straps kind of do that same little thing. Ooh, this one's like thick. This one's like a tie too. Then I have a few Amazon packages and then that's it for the unboxing, literally. Ooh, I wanted to try this out because of Emily Keisler and it's this car slime So basically what you do is you keep this in your car and you literally just like take it and put it over the air vents Or like in the cup holders and it gets like all the grimy gunk that sits like in those like hard to reach places This is my deodorant So I also got this because of Emily Keisler because she said that this is like the deodorant that she swears by She like uses this in all of her little like get ready with me's and here's the thing I'm a very sweaty gal as in, I sweat a lot. Not anywhere except my armpits. Like, and that, even if that's TMI, I literally don't care. I literally sweat in my armpits so bad. And then people were, like, asking about this because obviously she uses a lot. And people were like, is this good for, like, the sweaty girlies? And she was like, yes. Okay, this literally just smells like baby powder, which I like. I don't like something to be super. I literally thought this said antidepressant stick. What's in here? Oh, I think these are the rest of the books that I ordered. Which is two. Okay. Oh, okay. So, The War of Lost Hearts. This is volume two, Children of Fallen Gods. And then I got this book, which I've seen a little bit. I saw Steph Bohr talk about this. And it's The Brightest Light of Sunshine. I think she just, like, got this. I don't think she read it. Or maybe she did read it. I don't know. But this is, like, a dual POV. He takes care of his little sister. Like, the main character is 22. And I think he's... I don't know, like 30. I don't really love age gap romances. They're just not my thing, but this one is like not a bad age gap, so it won't really annoy me. But for some reason, why is it giving me the confidence of wildflower vibes? And now I'm so discouraged to read it. But if you guys have read this, let me know. Also, if you guys have read it, if you guys have read Our Scorching Summer, I've been seeing that everywhere. And I almost bought it the other day, but I'm pretty sure it's Kindle Unlimited. So I kind of just like want to read it on the Kindle and then see if I like it or not. This is giving summer vibes, so this is getting added to my summer TBR. Anyway, that is everything for our little unboxing. I am about to take all of this downstairs to the garage and get my Stanley out of my car because I just realized that I left that in my car. And um, I'm probably going to try to read as much as I can of Fourth Wing tonight and not let myself go to bed. Good morning, guys. Do you remember last night when I was like, yeah, I'm about to read? I literally started watching Drew Gooden and then fell asleep. <sighs> I read nothing. It's 9 a.m. and obviously this is my rest day so I like to sit in bed for like longer than I usually do because usually as soon as I wake up I just literally get out of bed as soon as my eyes open. I literally have been debating back and forth whether I want to buy the Breville, Breville, Breville um, espresso machine. Like I've literally been de debating back and forth on it so 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 much like whether or not that I want to do that and uh, i don't know i've been watching tiktoks and because i think about it like i i don't know i don't know i don't know i need to read i need to go to the bank today and like fix some stuff that's going on there that i have to do but literally little things like that that honestly like to most people would be like 
Oh yeah, I just have to go to the bank really quick. It's so hard for me. Like, my anxiety thinking about, like, having to go into the bank genuinely makes me, like, I'm gonna go downstairs and chill for a little bit and continue reading Fourth Wing and looking at the Breville machine. Okay, guys. I decided to... I was literally about to say put on my big girl britches. I decided to put on my big girl pants and I decided to go to the bank but I'm gonna do that and then I brought in I bought car stuff the other day from Target not car stuff literally just like smell good stuff so I bought these little like um air fresheners and I brought my car slime because <clears throat> oh my god there's like something in my throat. I am going to go get a car wash and like clean out my car because my car's a little bit of a mess. A tornado called Isaac was in my car yesterday and he brought in stuff in my car. Isaac, if you're watching this, he literally never fails to never take his stuff out of the car. Very honestly, today I'm feeling very anxious about like everything. Today's not as good of a day for me in the hour it's been since i've talked to you guys i uploaded the podcast to spotify and i left it uploading at home to youtube so like the video format is uploading right now and then when i get back home it should be ready to go i have to get the big thing done for today because this is like really the only oh, okay the sliding is terrible this is like the only thing that i have to do so i'm gonna go to the bank Y'all, I do not know what's going on today, but it is packed literally every single place that I go. I had to go get my mom and Mila Chick-fil-A, and I went to Chick-fil-A, and it was literally packed in there. I got Chipotle because I didn't eat breakfast this morning. I ate, like, a little yogurt cup, um, so I got some lunch. I got Chipotle. I got them Chick-fil-A, and literally every single place I went, and then I went to get a car wash. Like, these errands have taken me literally, I think, like, close to two hours to do because it is packed every single place right now like it is packed everywhere i don't know what is going on it's literally thursday given this weekend is the busiest weekend that indiana does see because this weekend is the indy 500 so we are the busiest that like we really ever are this weekend but i'm like there's no way that like over where i live is this busy because of the indy 500 like the airport this weekend isaac is leaving to go to miami this weekend and i genuinely feel for him because how packed the airport is going to be like in indianapolis because literally so many people come for the indy 500 I've never went to the Indy 500, even though I've lived in Indiana all my life. My parents were like never, like we've just never been the family that like goes to the 500, but it is like a huge thing. I'm really just flabbergasted. I'm also looking at my Barnes and Noble right now. Like I just kind of wish I was there. As I was doing all of my errands though, I finished uh, the podcast episode um, that me and Sarah did. I just like, one, I edited the whole entire thing. So I listened to it then and then I was listening to it again in the car just because, I don't know, like there's something about listening to it in real time as ev as everybody else is listening to it. I don't know. I finished that and I'm listening to the Zane and Heath Unfiltered podcast. Both me and Sarah love that podcast. And it's so funny because if we'll like ask each other a question, like, today I was like oh what should we title it and she's like I don't know like what do people title podcasts like you know we were talking about that and I was like I don't know like Zane and Heath do this or we'll go Zane and Heath do that like I the fact that all of my knowledge of podcasts is pretty much from Emma Chamberlain Zane and Heath and Alicia Marie when I get home I need to make the thumbnail for the YouTube and then that will go live and everything will be live and I will have nothing else to do today but I'm gonna chill back listen to my podcast and I don't know what we're gonna do the rest of the day I'm in the room it's a typical Tuesday night it is Friday I just got done at the gym I could never be a car vlogger because like look at how bad the lighting is I just got done at the gym today was shoulders chest and triceps today and now I'm going over to Isaac's house apartment not house i have taken him to the airport at around like one ish um he's going to miami for the weekend it's literally labor day weekend and isaac's jetting off jetting <laughs> isaac's going to 
Miami for the weekend. I don't know if, is he mentioned something about breakfast? I don't know if he wants to go to breakfast or if he wants me to pick up Starbucks. It really could be either or. The general consensus is that we don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what am I supposed to do on Labor Day weekend by myself? <laughs> Help me pack. I am running down to Isaac's car really quick. I'm taking him to the airport in my car. But he left some stuff in his car. When I came here, I literally had to walk five blocks because the Indy 500 is this weekend. It's the only time that Indiana is ever packed and there's no parking, like at all, anywhere because I think downtown's having like a parade or something. Isaac gave me his Tesla key. I genuinely feel so confused if I'm even in the right area right now. I just realized he did not tell me what level he's on. I'm gonna attempt to guess. He always parks at the top. I'm gonna attempt to guess if he's at the top. <laughs> did anyone else ever watch Scream 4 and like the scene where she's like in the elevator in the parking garage? I have been, I've had a literal fear of elevators and parking garages ever since watching Scream 4 when I was like a child. Let's see if I'm right. This elevators suck. Oh my God. I was right. <laughs> Slay. I'm always right. We even look at Tesla. What if this is not? Is this his car? What if this is not his car? Oh, I think I unlocked it. Did I? extra cardio in because Isaac cannot remember what floor he parked on and I'm walking up every single floor of the parking garage looking for his car. Bag is secured. It turns out that that actually was Isaac's car. I just wasn't unlocking it properly. <laughs> God, because the thought of like going to someone random, like someone's random car and looking like I'm trying to break into it. <gasps> So after my little parking lot excursion and walking up and down, up and down, I'm now gonna have to walk five blocks to my car. Let's see if I can girl boss my way into remembering where I parked. Cause I don't. Also, I have this toxic trait because when I have to come down here, since Isaac lives downtown, I have to pay for parking and we have like the Indy mobile parking app, whatever. I pay for like three hours over the time that I need to be there. We have to roll out and go pick up Jared. Duh. Isaac literally put on my podcast earlier and then literally couldn't even like watch it. No, I didn't. I watched it all. No, no stuff, he did not. No breaks. You literally no. turned it off. Going to Miami, Florida. Um, buying a Lamborghini for Destiny. She has been telling me for the last three weeks about a bar when she's breaking up with me. So. <laughs> trying to get him to get the Breville Barista Pro coffee machine. I did spend three hours on TikTok yesterday watching people. Now I know all about the machine and how to do it and how to pull shots, how to weigh the coffee beans and how to do all of that. Isaac loves coffee and I got him this Nespresso that you see over there and he doesn't use it anymore. It doesn't work. It works. He just can't clean it himself because you have to clean the Nespresso. And I did it once. And she messed it up. I did not mess it up. What time's that parade? So it was bounce. Okay. This is giving me war flashbacks to New York. When I was walking earlier, I genuinely felt like I was like in New York City. Do you think you'll you will miss the city life? Yeah. I don't. <laughs> That's so bold of me to say as somebody who like twice a week says they're gonna move to New York. Yeah, everybody moves to LA. No, it's not. Watch, while you're gone this weekend, I'm gonna move to New York. Where's your car? About four more blocks up. You're such a lawyer. Okay, three more blocks up. 
why this park so far. Because there, there were no other parking spots. I'm looking at some. Right now? Does that mean they were there two hours ago? Yes, probably. No, they weren't. Would you look at that? Don't pop my trunk. Girl boss my way through this one. I'm the CEO of always having way too much stuff in my hands. Oh my God, there's so much mail in here. Dakota, if you're watching this, how are you about to just get your mail out and no one else's? It's the definition of a sibling, I feel. Okay, back home in Isaac Liss. Dropped him off at the airport. Hi, Charles. Hey, baby. So excited for all of these. Let's open them. Oh, I got this little thing for my phone. And these little like things, like just like suction onto like the wall, the mirror, like anything. And it's good like when you're filming with your phone. That way you don't have to like take a tripod everywhere that you go. And I got these because I love a chunky like hooped earring. Oh. And I got these. Ooh, I'm excited for this too. So I saw a TikTok about a girl said that she got like a spider or something in her Stanley cup. And so I got these. Uh, oh wait, these do not look big enough. They're little like straw covers that are strawberries. The rest of this stuff I think is fun. So I think I have two books in here. So first of all, we have summer reading. And then I also got this because I saw Berkeley post that this was like a um, new release and it's called Mrs. Nash's Ashes. Like a little box. What's happening? Oh, this is so cute. Oh my god. A sporty wallflower heroine. And then they put in parentheses, she's a golfer. Wait, not you knowing me. There is no way. They, this. This is the cutest thing I think I've literally ever seen. They're little freaking golf tees. There's no way. No way. You guys are going to get tired of hearing me say no. Oh, look, it's a little sewing kit. Are you joking? These little golf tees? Not me adding this to my immediate TBR. I'm not joking. This is literally so freaking cute. Devney Perry literally sent me over two of the most anticipated books that I have from her. First of all, we have Coach by Debbie Perry, which is so funny because I kid you not, the other day I was on Amazon and literally almost bought this because I've been seeing people post about this and I'm very interested. Football star, single dad, and once a long time ago, mine. And then she also sent over the birthday list. Our little final package is from Mustard Yard Press, which I have ordered so much stuff from in the past, like my Peter Parker crew neck. Um, my little like ghost face shirts, my karma, karma is my boyfriend shirt that I wear is from here and I love, love their stuff. <gasps> this is my favorite quote from the movies of The Hunger Games because it's been a while since I've read um, The Hunger Games but it is a little Katniss and Peter Krunek and it says, you love me real or not real. And then of course, she came out with a Daisy Jones and the Six collection so I got the t-shirt of Daisy Jones and the Six, Aurora World Tour. I ordered some stickers. Just says Daisy Jones and the Six. This, this one is the same print as the t-shirt. I had to get a Steve Harrington sticker. This is another one that's a Steve Harrington sticker. As um, the ghost face shirt that I have. This one is a little one that just says reading is sexy. This one is just Hellfire Club. The Scoops Ahoy. All of that, that's all the packages we got going on here. So now I'm gonna put all this stuff up and then I'm actually going to try to figure out all of the stuff for the podcast because we are filming a podcast episode today to go up next Thursday. So I'm very, very excited.